worked. Hello, welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. And we're here with our own stitching and a little time to have some fun. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to share it with our floss friends. Yes, yes. So, so welcome. Pull out your stitching. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What are you working on? Let's I see. am working on. I know it's my hard for you to see Lizzie us actually Kate stitching, but I project. promise we are. I am on a particular pattern of hers. This one is the number F89. It's the YCH part of the expression. I'll turn this around in a moment and I'll show you the back. Mm -hmm. But I finished the top and I'm on the lower pattern here. And it all gets done if you choose to in a sampler form. Starts at the bottom and there's a pattern online that allows you to merge each of these individual patterns together to form this banner if you want to. Or you can do them all individually. Cool. And I'm I'm merging. You're merging. I'm merging. So here's where I am right now. <laughs> and I was looking at this and I was thinking I was through with the the why part. Mm -hmm. And then as I looked why? at it, yeah, I said, why? <laughs> you didn't even fill in the why. It's empty. And then I realized I didn't even put on the smoke yet either coming out of the house. So I thought, oh, okay, okay, that's what I need to do yet. And then I can move on to filling in the C, but um, then I have to do the holy night part down okay. here. Then I'm through with this one. Okay. All right. Nice. What are you doing? I like it. Oh, uh, and we're still on our merry and bright thing. Yeah. <laughs> we're still in the Christmas <laughs> stitch mode. So... Um, I'm, I got out the hometown holiday series. So remember they're all separate patterns and then I'm combining them into my, what I call phase two of my, um, my town, my hometown. Yes. <laughs> Little House Needleworks, right? Yes, yes, yes. Little House Needleworks. And it's on 32 count natural linen. Um, and I'm still where I was the other day. <laughs> um, working on the diner. Mm -hmm. The diner. And that was the coffee shop. Well, and since we've gone yellow again, we can't get into the diner, so that's probably your problem. I don't know that we're actually considered yellow. <laughs> no. But I'm just joking. Got your joke, yeah. But we are going up and down <laughs> on all this stuff, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. It's like a seesaw. I just want to go to the movies. Oh. You know me. I'm a movie buff. I know. I know, I know, I know. I um, am an Olympic moviegoer. <laughs> You just, get the gold medal, dear. Just ask yeah, me. I've go. got the gold right. on movie going. That's yes. right. That's right. It is funny. After all this time now, I do have things that I think to myself, I really would like to just come home and say to Rick, let's go to the movies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I think it's neat that this time of year though people are able to get out and go bike riding mm -hmm. or walking or mm -hmm. anything just to be out now because early on when we were all still stuck at home with the weather and the cold and everything yeah there wasn't a lot going on yes how's um clementine doing good yeah good yeah she's good yeah clementine yes. for those of you who may not know is deb's heifer um mm -hmm. and she was just bred yeah. So, yeah, we did not see her going to heat. So hopefully everything is good to go. That we'll have a baby next spring. And Hank's doing really well. I got some messages about him lately because McKenna has not been posting on his Instagram for a while. Okay. She's just so busy, and she's the one that takes care of that. And so people were wondering, is Hank okay? We haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's uh, he's a happy guy. Um. I don't think they like the heat as much because the flies are awful, you know, when the heat's really bad. So that's about the only thing that they get annoyed with yeah, with this weather. So I get annoyed with it. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, everybody's doing well. Good. Yeah. Work is still very, very busy. Everybody wants to come in and get their... Um, their corona hair taken care of, you know, so. <laughs> there was, it was funny the other day, our neighbor, um, farmer neighbor has a gator. Mm -hmm. And when I walk Ivan down to the pond, um, I'm on their little farm road, dirt 
farm road that they ride their gator on or trucks or whatever they're getting around in. And so I parked and I was getting ready to get out of the van with Ivan and mm -hmm. I hear this noise. Well, here comes somebody in the gator. I mean, really moving. <laughs> uh, really moving. And I thought, who's that? And then I saw from behind, all I could see is uh, kind of a flannel shirt and jeans and it was a hot day. Um, and then a baseball cap with hair about eight inches long flowing out the, um, you know, the space where you can adjust the size on a bit and that space uh -huh. in the middle so that it, all their hair was through that hole in yeah. the back, like a ponytail holder, like yeah. a, a baseball scrunchy, <laughs> scrunchy. So then afterwards I realized it was a man that works for them. Um, and he was headed down to the burn pile with a load of stuff in the gator. But all I could think of was COVID hair, COVID hair, yeah. COVID hair. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can we talk to my friend, Deb? <laughs> I still have COVID hair. I haven't got my hair done yet. <laughs> my gosh. You're so sweet to take care of mine. I wanna, I need to get a haircut and I need to get a highlight. I will. It'll get done eventually. Hopefully you guys are all stitching on something fun. Have you um, pulled out anything other than what you're working on Christmassy yet? Well, we're in the South. With yeah. With Quarter Shop. Yeah, so we're yeah, working yeah. on Mistletoe Lane. Yeah. But is um, there... No, I mean, I want to start the reindeer sack. Yes. I want to start that one. Me I didn't too. yet. Um, but I did work on the, the, um, the farm scene the other day. Okay. Cause that's the whip that you guys chose for me to, to finish up. So I did some homework. My problem is I keep running across more Christmas stuff as I was doing some stuff in the craft room. It's yeah. Like, oh yeah. I want to do that. One of the things I found was that this corner by Just Nan. Oh yeah. Have you shown that? Um, no. It's really pretty. I've got my little bin of Christmassy stuff down here. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oot, oot. There it is. And there's also another one I forgot to show you. Okay. This is a 2007 ornament. I remember buying it. This was one that I got the first Salty Yarns Retreat we went on. Okay. It was on the, it was, you know, the Just Nan rack that yeah. Sarah yeah. has. <laughs> that you're like drawn to yes. by, like a, with a magnet. <laughs> it's definitely a polar thing. Uh -huh. um, Very but pretty. It's, it is. It's cute. And it's not large. It would be a really pretty little ornament. And I have these hangers. Remember I showed you the box of mice tails oh, that yeah. I bought? I yeah. think I can use one of those yeah, definitely. as the hanger for it. So it's very pretty. I'm going to change it up a little though. I was telling Deb... Um, I'm going to use the a piece of fabric that I just put some coffee stains on a long time ago that was in the stash. Um, I think originally it was just a cream color base, mm -hmm. but um, I'm going to use an over dyed palette instead of the, um, these are all DMC or Swad Alger okay. uh, silks. So I'm going to use over dyed and That'll actually change the amount of stitching time probably because I won't have to change the colors so quickly. Um, so we'll see what I choose for colors then. Yeah, that's cute. Probably be maybe, let's see, their palettes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only nine shades, so I might get away with maybe four by the time I use your everyday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. So that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, I mentioned the fabric it's sitting here. I can show you. I can show you. And what count is that? You know, it feels like 32. Yeah. It does. I don't know though because as I said I had it in my stash. I remember playing with it. Um and playing with the color. It's very subtle. But you can see yeah, some pretty. of the modeling on mm -hmm. it. And it's only going to take a piece about maybe three inches square. Mm -hmm. um, so. Do you have leftover? I will. 
I will, I will. Hmm. Has Liz a... and I are itching for a road trip. Yes. Oh man, we had just, we, we mentioned in our video last week that, um, that we had just decided not to go to Texas, which actually as of today turns out to be a godsend because mm -hmm. um, they've now closed down. Well, not closed down. They've reduced the freedoms, I guess is the only way to put that, um, uh, for what, 22 states? I don't know the number, but if, if we would travel to certain states, we would have to quarantine. Well, it's suggested that we would quarantine for two weeks when we get back. So right. it's just not so, a good thing to do. And Texas was one of them. Florida, Arizona. Yeah, There's a whole bunch. It's it's yeah. um, it's several. And so I thought, well, that was probably a good, good and especially position. like flying there. That would not be mm. probably what we want to do right now. But So we had an idea at one point to take a road trip. And mm -hmm. we've always wanted to go visit keepsakes, mm -hmm. and that was in our our sights. But we haven't we haven't gone any farther with the idea yet. But but that would be so much fun just to get in the car and just drive, and we yep. could stop there or anywhere else that get is... my needle workbook that you got yes, me last year, yeah, and we'll yeah, just thumb yeah. through it. I would love yep. to end up in Chicago, knock on Kevin's door, <laughs> and then we could um, go to Welcome Stitchery up <laughs> yeah, there yeah, and go visit Pat. Yes. So we're going to go on a needle shop tour. Yes. A driving tour. Yes. That yes. would be great fun. That would be fun. It could be like Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Actually, no, that didn't end well. No. no I was thinking, not good. let's not do uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, now, Cassidy they, either. They picked well. up Brad Pitt on the way, but <laughs> yes. that didn't end well. There's uh, that. <laughs> And we need a really cool Cadillac yeah. or like a, some kind of convertible. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or we can get a town car with a driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd there be nice. you go. Yes. Oh, because then we can stitch the whole yes. way. That's perfect. Full service yes. in the back. Let's rent a limo. Yep. <laughs> with a sunroof. Yes. <laughs> we need uh, all the natural light we can now get. Now you're talking. Perfect. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh, it would be fun. Did did kids when you graduated have a lot of limos at their prom? Our prom, yes. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. really surprised at how many there were at ours. <laughs> surprised a lot or surprised a little? A lot. Oh yeah. I mean, there were a high number, mm -hmm. and I was surprised by it because those are costly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, In fact, yeah. I think a lot of that's starting to phase out. Like, I know now a lot of... <laughs> We're the... Ubering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Um, yeah, like, uh, when Connor took... Connor McKenna went to the prom, he has a... His grandfather has a um, Corvette. Okay. So, a lot of the kids are starting to do things like that. Like, if they know somebody who has a... I don't know. A, a nice up car. truck or mm -hmm. a nice car, you know, they'll borrow that for the night yeah yeah instead of the expense of renting a limo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i was surprised um that's funny did you have that i think that sounds great though for our needlework trip yeah i think that's a great idea <laughs> You, you know hire, that expression? Find a driver. It's, a, it's actually a principle, but the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Mm -hmm. Can you see our trip? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, wait, go back. Do, yep. do, 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 do. Now it would be like Google squirrel, Maps. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> Google Maps is going to start sending notifications. Did you really mean to turn around? Oh my gosh, recalculating. <laughs> Make a legal U-turn. Oh now. my gosh, that is so funny. I got so tired of hearing it tell me to make a legal one. I want to say, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm going to make an illegal oh, U-turn. Oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> because keepsakes, that's in... Is that uh, Cleveland? Okay. 
All right. I was going to check on my phone, but... <laughs> but... <laughs> it's a little tied up. Yes, it's a little busy. Check yours. <laughs> um, and then I used to go to... Cross My Heart, which is in That's a cute the name. Columbus area. Okay. And mm -hmm. we stopped there whenever we would come back from my doctor's appointments from Illinois. That was about a good halfway point, so uh, we would stop there, and then I'd always make sure we built in enough time, and I could go visit <laughs> the needle workshop. Uh, and one time, we had not had a vacation except these trips back here. Um, it had been about three years since Rick and I had just done something okay. together that mm -hmm. wasn't medically required. Planned or, yeah. So um, I said to Rick, on our way back this time to the doctor's visit and to see, and when it wasn't, I don't mean to make it sound like it was a, a horrendous thing because our daughter lived here with my granddaughters and her son and our grandson. So that was fun. And then my parents and my twin sister. And so, we always made it a family visit when we came back. But sometimes you just want to go somewhere with your special someone and have a vacation. So we ended up going to Columbus where they have the zoo. Oh, and I love zoos. Yeah, me too. And so we had a wheelchair and we went through the zoo, had a blast, stayed another night. I went to cross my heart and he went to a, a golf um, driving range they oh, had. Good. And so we had a really good day that day, too. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. It crossed my heart. They have some, um, well, this goes back, gosh. I was going to say, they're still there. Ten right? years. <laughs> and, uh, but they had um, all kinds of activities and classes and things that went on there hmm. all year long, too. And that was really interesting. Wow. I did find yeah. out that um, there was a shop in Rockford, Illinois, that I used to go to, uh, but that's closed. Mm. <laughs> I wonder how many of us could actually just open our own shop for a while. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inventory sale. <laughs> I do have um, some other patterns I've pulled to look at for our Christmas stitching this month. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I pulled another one that's similar to this Christmas one. Um, it's Christmas Rules. And then there's another one, oh. Jingles. Let me show them that. This one? Yeah, is that Jingles? Is this, this is Jingles. Okay. Yeah. Jingles is cute. So, oh, do I have to show these in order? Did I mess or up? Or you can just, can they see the back of one that has the whole thing? 29. Yeah. That works. Yeah, this is Christmas Rules by Lizzie Kate. That's what No, they that's Jingles. This is, oh, sorry. Jingles. <laughs> Never mind. Jingles. I have Christmas Rules over here. <laughs> Oh, I have to find it. Jingle jangle. Like I said. So they all okay. So you have eight here then, or how many do you have? Here? No, One, I think two, there's twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Wow. Yeah, you do have twelve. Cute. And are you gonna stitch them all as one, like it shows on the back, or? I like are, that. Okay. I was thinking my mind's uh, thoughts on that was that I'd like to do it for my granddaughters or my daughter's house. What you looking for? Um, my Christmas rules one because I do have another. Ah! <laughs> I saw it back there. The behind. ears in the back, my eyes in the back of my head did not see that. So Christmas rules is is similar in nature to Merry Christmas. It builds and or you can yeah. do them separately and I think that one's yeah cute that too. one's cute too. Oh and the the sampler version. Uh, putting them all together, that has a border online by Lizzie Kate that allows you to just kind of join them all and tells you which parts of the border to leave out if you put it together. So that's cute. Keep the schedule light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the cute. little sayings. Mm -hmm. That's cute. 
And you also have the Lizzie Kate, um, don't you have a Halloween one too, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, what was that called? Spooky. Was it Halloween Rules or no? No. No? no. Okay. No, don't get up and get it. I was just wondering. Does she have any more? Or is this pretty much... She has some newer ones. Didn't she do one called the Fat Boys or something? It's all the little snowmen. And um, oh. and you can do it that way or you can do them okay. individually. I think she's done other ones since then. Okay. These go back quite a ways. Um, these, yeah. See if there's a date on these. Because these were the earlier ones that I saw. Mm, these might not be dated. 2009. So... You know, that's over 10 years on these. Yeah. What's that one? It's got to be close to that. Do you find that on the front of the back? Uh, inside. And it should be in one of these dated somewhere. Um, hmm. Or not. Don't know. Well, anyway. Been a while. They are fun. Yeah. Well, I know I bought them at the same time. This was when I was out at my dad's in um, Arizona. Uh, that would have been shortly after we met. So it would have been like 2010, 12, 2012 maybe when I was going out there to visit. Okay. So, um, The reason I, I keep that in mind was because there's a shop that existed called the Needler's Nest. And I happened to see it. We were going down one of the main drags. And then my older sister mentioned it to me that she had seen it. And I went and they had a huge sale going on the second time I was back visiting. <laughs> and that's when I got all these. Um, what? Anyway, so it has to be at least prior to that. And you um, didn't start that one yet? No. Nope, I have not. <laughs> Are you doing that one even weave linen or not sure yet? I'm thinking I might do it on the same linen I'm doing this one on. This is this was what uh, there was a shop in Reading. I bought the patterns at Needler's Nest, but I didn't buy fabric. And I was going to uh, the stitchins that they had up at mm -hmm. Stitches and Stuff. Um, that was in Reading, Pennsylvania. And um, so I went up there to buy the fabric and they showed me this fabric for this one. Um, and they said it was relatively new at the time. It's country mocha, but it's not vintage country mocha. And one of the ladies at the lock-in when I picked it up said this is now her new neutral. She okay. gets it for all her samplers and everything. And, and it is a pretty color, and it does blend well. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, so, uh, I did not get the fabric for that, but I'm enjoying doing this one on linen, so I think i probably do the other one on linen as well. Okay. The Christmas Rules one, I think I'm going to do individually. Okay. If I stitch it, I don't think I'll do it as a sampler. Hey, we hit our 10,000 subscribers. Yes, Thank you very much. Did. So yes. on our next regular video, then we'll give our, our we'll do our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And we'll also have some other giveaways because I know Liz has some adoption maybe to uh, hand out. And, um, I, we were, we were gifted a bunch of patterns from some lovely viewers. And so we have some, some things to share. We might just throw together a grab bag or two. Yes. Might as well. Yes. And uh, we have some of our things that we like to use to stitch with that make our stitching experience that much more fun. And we've got a couple of those. Um, so you'll want to make yeah, sure so to join you. us and, and uh, share in our, our celebration. And Deb says we hit 10,000. Actually, we didn't do anything you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for all the clicks. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun.
and we really do um, enjoy our opportunities as few and far between as they are right now in this climate but um, when we get to meet you and mm -hmm. uh, when we're at needlework events or even shops and and bump into people it's so much fun yeah we have not seen our guild friends in oh, I know. quite some time. I know. So we're looking forward to our first guild meeting. Yeah. This is our 25th anniversary, mm -hmm. and we haven't been able to celebrate it at all yet. No. So I'm hoping that happens in some fashion. I hope so. Soon. Mm-hmm. We can all come over and swim. <laughs> we can have a big guild swim party. <laughs> Everybody dunk their floss. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> We're going for mud. <laughs> oh, man. That's probably what it would end up. Yeah, yep. you're right. Matt would come out and say, what happened? But always, I thought, as it, when I was younger, it always intrigued me that if you got multiple colors together, it just turned that icky black sort of color, <laughs> no matter what you were doing with them. <laughs> like swamp water. Yep. <laughs> I have been thinking lately that I would like to do a stocking. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. For me? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Shh. Don't <laughs> Hank, tell Deb. Hank still needs a stocking. Yeah, there you go. I still gotta get one. I would mm -hmm. like to do one. Like, what, do you have one in mind? Well, aside from the ones I'd really like to do, which are the primitive ones that you're... I'd like to do August someday, and I'd like to do... Oh, one. yeah. I'd like to do that other one that um, you and... Sandy have the pattern for the... Oh, okay, so you're not just talking about Christmas. Well, I am, but I was thinking okay. when you said, did I have one in mind, I'm thinking if we're not talking about the primitive <laughs> ones, yes, I have another one in mind. I'm debating between, and this time I truly do mean Rosewood Manor. <laughs> uh, I'm debating between Rosewood Manor and Mary Beale. I love the stockings that I have by Was Mary that Beale. Did you share some of those last time? I did. Okay. Those are the band sampler yeah, stockings they're pretty. Yeah, that have the pretty. scriptures on them. Yeah. The yeah. Rosewood Manor patterns I have. Um, oh, gosh, and I just thought of another one, too. Mm -hmm. The Rosewood Manor patterns I have. The snowflake pattern. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. The Christmas yeah. tree. <gasps> yeah, that was The pretty. Victorian. The mm -hmm. reindeer I know there's one or two other ones. What happened was I originally bought the snowflake and Christmas tree when I saw them new at Stitches and Stuff. Okay. At Reading. Uh -huh. And then I, I didn't buy fabric because I wasn't sure at that point. They had stitched it on Lugana, I believe. Mm. White. And I did buy all the thread. Did you? Mm -hmm. Is it DMC or is it special? I believe it's over dyed. Okay. Um... So special. It's special. I was waiting to start that and then I never got fabric. It takes a pretty good size piece of fabric to do those. Mm -hmm. They're a pretty good size stocking. Well, that's when I realized when Deb and I joined the guild in Delaware that Rosewood Manor had a succession of stockings <laughs> uh, for Christmas that were just all equally as gorgeous. And um I started collecting them, and I think I have about eight of them now. You do have a lot, yeah. And one of them that's really pretty. Um, have you shown all of them yet? I don't know. You should have did like a little stocking slideshow or something. Stocking shoe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe next time we get together, I'll bring along. Um, I could get them out now, but... Um, I could get them out for you if they're... Well, actually, I know right where they are. Give me one second. Are you sure? Yep. You talk. I'll get them. Oh, geez. Hmm. <laughs> well, what, what shall we talk about, kids? <laughs> you mm. got a couple of stockings when we were at um, Salty Yarns. Didn't you buy some Shepherd's Bush stockings? Oh, yes. Patterns, anyway. Yeah. I forget which ones they are, though. But yeah, I, I get those confused. Yeah. I have, I think, funny. two, maybe, of those. Okay. Shepherd's Bush ones, the Christmassy ones. Yep. Yeah, I think I, I do have two of those. Um, I think that's it, though. Okay. Oh, my gosh, now I'm seeing more Christmas now, stuff. Oh, jeez. Don't you hate that? Oh, my 
my goodness. Closer to the front. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And there she was, Mary, the step is fucking hard. Careful. This one is, yes, she's watching me walk on Ivan's crafter bed. Um, so, let me pick up what I threw on the floor here for a minute. Drop my pattern and my stitching. Okay. This was by. Gloria and Pat, it's Nutcracker, and it was the Precious Moments. Oh. Well, actually, I should show you the back. That's cuter. The stockings mm -hmm. with the little Nutcrackers on them. I just thought those were precious, but the thing that got my attention here is what's on the front of it. It's a tablecloth or a tree skirt, I okay. believe they did the design for with an alternate Nutcracker and Christmas tree. It's very cute. And I bought this when my children were younger, and I had this great idea that that would be our tree stocking, and, and it never left these pages. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is cute. It is really adorable. Yeah. I'll show you the inside picture with it. Did you collect the Precious Moments figurines? I started a collection for Carrie when she was young, when really? she was born, actually, and I had done her nursery with, or no, her bedroom with Precious Moments when she got, like, junior bed age. Mm-hmm. Um, and I stitched some for her. Okay. I even took a class with Pat, my very first retreat that Mom and I and Mick went to, oh. the Spirit of Cross Stitch. Wow. I took a class from her on stitching on linen, and okay. it's a Precious Moments pillow. Aww. Cool. Which, I still have everything to do it. It was one of the classes where you learn all the stitches. Okay. So I never actually yeah. started the pillow yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. And then Carrie got a little older, and when you're in junior high, Precious Moments isn't quite uh, as no. exciting. Nope. Now, this is the one I, I really like. It's called oh, a I sampler know. stocking, and it's just us in Pennsylvania Dutch territory. Yeah, I love that. Me too. That's cool. And this is by the Work Basket, and I, I have always been a fan of their patterns and their Quaker, and I have, a, I have several of their patterns that have animals with the Quaker emblems inside of them. Now, here's a little run on rosewood. <laughs> <laughs> this is Let It Snow. There's a lot of, I'm going to use the word filigree, but it's um, back stitching and, and single-stranded work. Uh, you use pearl cotton in this one, I believe. Um, Yes, number 12 pearl cotton. And I like working with pearl cotton, so that appealed to me. Same thing is true with Cranberry in the Pines, only this one, um, by same thing is true, there's a lot of back stitching, but this one was not done. Um, uh, let's see, what are they doing this one? With? This was all DMC floss, not pearl cotton. I thought that would be cute too. I really like that. And they're large. These are, sorry, they didn't give you a dimension. The sense of how large it is. Uh, Karen designed these to be 12 by 18. So that's a large stocking. Yeah. 170 by 260 stitches. They do their charts very well. Yes. Now this one, I didn't even know existed when I bought the snowflake pattern but can you see these I was say, two they look great together yeah this just yeah wait till you see this cool. this is a band sampler stocking that's awesome isn't that pretty now watch you ready it's magic <laughs> <laughs> that one and that one together and then i'll bet somebody didn't plan that at all <laughs> now let's see what numbers how order okay they both came out in 2003 oh surprised i am then these two were also sort of that way. Mm. These are Victorian Christmas stocking. That is a log cabin in it. 
Did I hear Lord Kevin? Yeah. And this one is called the Reindeer Stocking. I love this one. Now these came out in 2001. And this one as well. So these two were, were released. And this one, uh, man, I'll tell you, this is how I get in trouble. <laughs> I appreciate the artwork. I truly do. This one <laughs> is, uh, this one's really pretty. Celtic Christmas. And this is 2011. And I, this appealed to me because my children are Irish oh. descent. And I'm, that's their father was, is 100% Irish. And my background is Scottish. If you go back to that side of our heritage. So, um, this was really suitable, and Carrie likes this design and interest in it. So does Kevin to a degree. Yeah. So that's why I found, I picked up that one. Now this one jumps pretty strangely to a completely different direction, but it has all three stockings in it. It's Kingsland. It's got a band sampler, a scriptural sampler. Well, I guess that's not scriptural. That's just another band sampler. And then another uh. Isn't that funny? So the mouse. I know. That's funny. So there's three by Kingsland. This is pretty cool. And then I asked, didn't Deb have a couple Shepherd's Bush? Well, oh, which ones do you have? I forget. I'm guilty. Yeah. Oh, I am. I got these. Um, oh, did you already show that one? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You I did? did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got these. Um, as salty yarns and I loved them. I was thinking of doing them for, at the time I had three grandchildren, the twins weren't born yet, but I just loved them. This is Sadie. I think I actually got, I, I kitted mine up. I have you did fabric and then I chose pearl cotton. Red. Mm -hmm. This is Mary's stocking. Yeah. Oh, Sophie, that's pretty. Cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah, because the colors, I love the colors. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And then this one, I really, what I appreciated between these three, and Shepherd's Bush stockings are so beautiful. They are pretty. And, um, they are such an heirloom when you're done. I mean, that's there's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the choice of fibers that they use. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I would change the, the depiction the way they have it. I mean, just take this one I just looked at. It's got primitive stars around the bottom. Then it's got the angel in the middle. And then it's got holly across the top with hearts. Mm -hmm. um, all of that handwork is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't think I would. I like the experience of, of this stocking. I also like the way they put the piping around the top. I like that. Yeah. So. Pretty. I'll just sit here and talk myself into one yeah. of these eventually. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I could hold them all up for you and you I'm just have to pick a number sure which one you're going to start. I bought this one at Needler's Nest. I'm almost positive. Okay. And then I got these at Salty Yarns, the other two. Um, one of these days, that one, one of them, well, these two, Mary and Sadie, both have lambs on the stockings. And the one that Deb has right now does not have a lamb on. Mm -mm. So anyway, I'm feeling a stocking. <laughs> and I don't know which one. I even have all the beads to do um, cranberry pines and let it snow. I bought everything but the fabric. Um, but oh, I'm, this one, Cranberry Pines, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is a lot of beads on that, isn't yeah. there? Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't believe there's beads on the bands, the White Christmas Band Sampler. Let's see what it calls for. Hmm. Nope. Wow. No, I don't see them on here, so it, it would be sort of beads, no beads. Yeah. So anyway, what choices? And oh, yeah. and this doesn't even include all the stocking patterns I pulled out of magazines over the years. 
and my <laughs> book of stockings what? by yeah. You have a book? I do. <laughs> it's um <laughs> is it leisure arts? It came from all of the No, it wasn't leisure arts. You'll have to get Cross that. Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. Oh, really? And it's all stockings. I believe it's all their stockings over the years wow. was the publication I had. All right. I'll have to That'll be check. her homework. She'll find that book. Yeah, I hope I still have it. <gasps> Sometimes over the years I gave things like that to people that I bumped into who stitched if I wasn't going to do anything from it. Oh. But if I do, it's in the closet and we'll find it. But anyway, okay. I don't know. I like the rain. Now that you're looking through them, do you, are you feeling more one than the other or... Still stuck. Mm. <laughs> Still stuck. I'm. Mm, I know. Still liking that one. I love this, one. and you know why I like this one so much? Not just because it reminds me of of our area here, but if you if if you just stitch it as is, and mm -hmm. you have the alphabet up here, you could leave this up all winter. Yes. You know how I leave my Olga up all fall mm -hmm. this doesn't really scream christmas to me right you know this kind of just screams winter yes i think um i think that's really cool looking i'm i'm torn i like these two as well because i like the band sampler look on Cute. these two. Oh yeah so if it's not the work basket it yeah. Probably be one of these two. I could stitch this one. So. Oh my gosh, I'm I sorry for yawning. I'm so sleepy. Deb was tired when she got here. I was. She had a busy day at work yesterday. Really busy, huh? Yeah, really busy. <laughs> meanie, meanie. Um, also, uh, in our last uh, video creation, we were talking about um, about that strawberry that... Um, Oh, yeah, the one you showed? The Eric Michaels design? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Linda Stoltz. Um, her pattern. And I was trying to decide on the colors for that. Um, I had a piece of Alchemy by Picture This Plus. It's a gray over-dyed fabric, which is just really pretty. Yeah, it's really a real pretty. beautiful gray blue. It's awesome. And, um, and I was going to try to use the same color palette as my uh, winter, what was it called? Winter, um, the, the winter hands on design? Mm, or winter something. Okay. Um, <laughs> Is that what it's called? Winter something. Winter something. <laughs> I have it around here yeah. somewhere. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so I had the color palette for that, and I was going to try to bring those two pieces together so they could go in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And the one blue, Blue coat blue. Mm -hmm. uh, Deb suggested I not keep that in the palette and change that out. So when I actually went back and looked at the pattern, it was kind of funny because I was so intent on that color palette. And when you look at the strawberry, it's the Stay Home and Stitch Strawberry that was a free pattern by Erica Michaels. And um, Linda did this and put it out. And there's only three colors in it. So I thought, well, that should make it a lot easier, Liz. You can handle three colors. <laughs> you cannot juggle four, but you can handle three. So when I finally got a chance to look at my threads, I'll show you where we went. Because the it was not a... <laughs> I'm making this sound like a big achievement. <laughs> Do not laugh out loud at me when you find out. <laughs> That's the fabric. I love it. It is very pretty fabric. Yes. But Ohio Lemon Pie and Banker's Gray were already in the color palette by the hands-on design design. And <laughs> I made an executive decision. To change the blue. And chose. Well. I, I like that. I chose to make it uh, Banker's Gray and Maple Syrup. Very pretty. Those are the three that I'm going to use. Anyway, it's kind of comical. <laughs> Big day for Liz. <laughs> so. Well, I that blue will look much better in your kitchen. Yes, I think so too. And it looks really pretty on that fabric. I like these three together with it. So that's going to be fun. 
So Deb was really proud of me for doing my homework mm -hmm. since our last video. Yep, yep. Quite hip done. I also pulled something else out I forgot to tell you about. Shocker. I know. <laughs> We're going to have some fun, though. What would um, you get into? <laughs> I, um, I'm going to, I think I mentioned not long ago that with my my place in my journey now it's easier for me to stitch and enjoy stitching something that I can hold in my hand and on the smaller side I I can't stitch with my arms extended anymore so samplers in a large frame or on a floor stand right now are just not something that I'm enjoying my time doing so not that I don't appreciate the design it's just my difficulty so mm -hmm. Uh, I was going back through, oops, sorry about that. I was going back through and looking at some of the patterns I had and, uh, we're going to have some fun because I'm going to share things that I don't think I'm going to be working on any longer. And we're going to do some more adoption. Ooh, yep. That should be fun. But remember this Beth Twist oh, pattern? Oh, yes. I, I, I had wondering. gotten a pretty good start on this when we were at the retreat and I bought the fabric and threads for it. The brown biscornu. Mm -hmm. I even love the name. I think it's so funny. Brown bird biscornu. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember where I was, so I'm going to pull it out. But yeah. It's, it's a pretty palette, too. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. It took a while. That's right. Now I remember why, after I bought the pattern, um, and I wanted to get started on it, it seemed forever till I actually did, and it was quite a while because for some reason the color pine needles was not getting shipped to the stores by um, Classic Color Works. I guess they were behind oh, in their okay. in their inventory. But anyway, so this is the palette and these are the <laughs> and of course I'm doing it over one because I don't want it to be um, six inches, so that's where I left off. Very I cool. had done that one vector going into the center, and from there I can build off the rest of it. So, and it's a nice, um, just a nice cream colored fabric that I'm using. Beautiful, thank you. So, that's gonna be fun. Fun, fun. They did the model for this on 40 count, and it was um, stitched over two on Stars Hollow Blend. Okay. r, &R. I'm using, I bought this fabric at Stitches Unlimited, and I think it's 36. And I'm going over one. Okay. And that way, instead of being, I believe the original one is about five and a half to six inches in size, mine's going to be more diminutive and I can <laughs> make it a little more dainty and I like that word. hang it up on my um, strawberry slash biscornu tree. <laughs> <laughs> huh. And I will share that with you as soon as we get things hung on it and finished. I'm still working on finishing strawberries but you know you and I we have quite a few strawberries yeah we've done quite a few of those in the past few years mm, yes we have although I think you made that that last one you did was perfect do you know perfect. after we did our video oh and people do think it's a good idea that you get these extensions so <laughs> just to let you know <laughs> that's in your future thank you for your support <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Always Guess what you're going to be for me. Halloween? <laughs> A skein of floss. <laughs> what color DMC is Liz? <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Deb <a> stitching <laughs> Halloween party. It all come as your favorite color. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> a little band around your neck and a big old blob of floss at the That's top. That's perfect. Wouldn't that be yes. funny? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be a gadget. <laughs> <laughs> what gadget are you? Go, go gadget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pop out of a little needle threader. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, yeah, now yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. what I was actually <laughs> talking about. Sorry. Gone. I forget too. We were talking about It'll strawberries. Oh, that's right. The strawberry that I did finish that was um, Blackbird Design from the Just Cross Stitch magazine. I didn't mention at the time when Deb was asking me what was in it. The other thing that I did, I took a page out of our uh, class from Hands On Design when mm -hmm. we did the Winter Woods pattern. Mm, yeah. And I put stabilizer inside of it as well. Oh. So it's not a heavy duty, it's not like Skirtex. Okay. okay. But just enough to, if I wanted to put emery in it, I could. Yeah. Yeah. But nice. I didn't. Not emery. Oh, by the way, I just want you to know, Deb needed a highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> and scissors. <laughs> but she brought her needle. <laughs> yeah. Which, I don't think I'm going to break this one, because this is not a small one. This is a heavy-duty one, because this is like a larger, this is 32 count, so. But I have been breaking needles. I mean, I don't know what my problem is. One day we were talking and texting, oh. I think it was Monday, and... I, I don't recall what we were talking about. I said something about stitching, and she said, I'm glad you're going to get some stitch time today. And then she said, a couple seconds later, I get a picture, and she says, I just broke my needle. And she sent me a picture of it. Sure enough, no eye left on the needle at all, just snapped right off at the shaft at the bottom of the eye. Hmm. And then what, how many hours later was it? And I broke another one. Yep. Yeah. Same thing. Break right at the bottom of the eye. Yeah. That's unbelievable. It is. I was telling her that mine break, but it's right at the point of the needle at the top of the eye, it splits. And so I'll be stitching and all of a sudden my needle has no thread in it. Yeah. And yet I know I didn't lose the thread while I was stitching. So I rethread it, I start over, and two or three stitches in, my needle's in my hand, my thread's <laughs> No needle threaded. So then I realized that it split. And I don't know how I do that either. I don't know what it is about those petites that I break so easily. Yeah. It's like I turn into the Hulk when I stitch. <laughs> Crazy. We're having kind of an overcast day today mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania. Yeah, which does not help me with my sleepiness. <laughs> no, no. Man. Need some sunshine. We do. Well, we should probably wrap this up soon. However, I'm thinking But I didn't finish my stitching. <laughs> no, you've been busy shopping for, for um, which stocking you are going to. I know, that's terrible. <laughs> No, no, it's all good. It's fun. It's fun that you can shop in your own craft room. It is. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah. She shops here once in a while, too. I do. I do, I do. But um, I'm guessing, I mean, if I were you, I would be <laughs> wondering about this awesomeness up here. <laughs> Liz came up with this fantastic way to display her over dyed threads and oh my gosh i'm in love with it i'm gonna steal this idea i love it so much i mean she gave me permission so <laughs> um but we're gonna give you a little bit closer of a look and liz can talk to you about it i'll grab the camera and get you a little bit closer because it, it's just awesome oh my gosh i love it thank you and i'm excited yeah. and i do have to say a big thank you um if my husband should be watching this video um <laughs> thank you rick because um I had this idea and I wasn't sure. I, my problem is I get ideas and then I can't get from the idea to getting it done and then I need, you know, all these people with wisdom to come do it for me. So Rick, he got the concept. That's the hard part is getting him to understand where I want to go with yeah, something. Yeah. And yeah. then he took off and it took a couple of weeks for him to get everything yeah. uh, cut and dyed and put together. So, But you, you had shown the towel rack the black part remember in yes. a couple videos ago that black thing that she held up that had the arms coming out and i forgot i did show that yeah yeah and so i showed my little rings that i bought from right, amazon right and so now this is the entire idea that yes. she had so i'll grab the camera this is where i was going with it and it 
Um, turn around here so I can get a little closer. Rick took some just pine, went to the Lowe's, I think, and I asked him to just give me uh, something that resembled a pallet on uh, the wall here. And then I said, then could I mount the racks on the pallet? His concern initially was that the racks I wanted to use might, with moving and use, might really damage the wall. This is an older home, um, not ancient, but so we want to take good care of it. So he put together this pallet for me and then he mounted that on the wall and then we took the racks that I bought and mounted them onto the pallet. Hmm. And I put my Weeks Dye Works there. All of my over dyes are now alphabetical. That's how I normally store them. And I loaded my Weeks onto these arms over here. And some rings have multiple threads um, and some have just one color multiple skeins on one. Uh, for instance, this color here is molasses and I have a couple of patterns that require multiple skeins so they're just all on one ring. Mm -hmm. But but you can swing them. I mean, you can push I them can, all against the wall. I mean, that's awesome. I can move them out of my way. These yeah. are the classic color works and crescent colors. And what I wanted to be able to do was to be able to see colors across the different manufacturers and the different types of thread. Yeah. So having them on the inside of my closet door where I had them initially was very functional and a nice way to storm and they were out of harm's way. But this, I like the, the fun it adds to the craft room. Mm -hmm. And I like being able Definitely. to say, well, that's a pretty purple, but oh my gosh, look at this one. Yeah. Um, or, oh, there's this one too. And I couldn't accomplish that with the door on the closet. It just wasn't functional. So mm -hmm. this is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to add, Deb and I were talking a little bit about what else I can put on my uh, racks. I have some silks that I can use. Um, I have a couple of arms I haven't filled yet, so I can put my silks up here. And then I have some rings that what I do is I put the colors for a project together and I just keep them with my threads so that if I need one of those colors for something else, I know where it is, but I already know I have it kitted, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, Deb suggested that I take those I'm going to slide my gentle arts out of the way here and use this center section and put in a couple of T-hooks or some kind of um, screw like that and then hang those kitted rings back here. Mm -hmm. And then if I need one of those threads and I haven't started stitching the project yet, I can just come and grab it. I know it's there. I can put it back and, um, and I can use that space for that. And then yeah, that's I can perfect. keep the arms for the rest of my silks. Yep, I love it. So this is a lot of fun. Um, I have to warn you, you will buy many more rings than you think when you <laughs> yeah. start hanging them up. And that's partly why there's some multiple um, stains on one hook is because I wanted so desperately to get the bulk of this done uh, that I didn't want to run short on rings. Yeah. And I ordered them twice. So I have... 200 well yeah close to 200 uh rings in here now mm -hmm. i probably could use 200 more if i wanted each of them to to <laughs> hang but i'm not that worried about it but i will have to order a few more yeah and you can see that with my gentle art sampler threads over here i already ran a little short and i used my old ring system to hang the last mm -hmm. of the colors for now and I can swap them out. Mm -hmm. And then I have another two arms over there for silks. Um, I have some wool up there and I also have my limited edition gem art threads up there. So now all I have to do is join a club and fill in the blanks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's been a lot of fun putting this yeah. together. Yeah. I love it. 
Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Awesome. It was so much fun to see Deb's response this morning when she <laughs> saw it. So we'll have to figure out where you're going to put your done good, girl. Racks. Thank you, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, you done good. Where are we going to put yours up in your, mm. in your craft room? Oh, I do have an empty wall. Would you do it where you have it now, do you think? That wall? Or would you move it across? I, th I think I'll move it across, but uh, I, don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I love it. It's perfect. Good job. And if anyone is interested in where these things were uh, obtained, it was Amazon. I just looked up towel racks, um, multiple arm towel racks, I think is what I searched on. And okay. then okay, curtain rings. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out and stitching with us today. Yes. Um, we will see you again shortly for um, a regular video. And um, enjoy do, the summer. Do some fun giveaways. Yes. And as always, share, share the, the joy, joy of needlework. needlework. See bye ya. Bye.